Hey guys, it's Rosie, welcome back. Today I'm going to be tier ranking every single song in Taylor Swift's The Heiress Tour set list. I'm gonna be using the set list from Night One in Phoenix just because I know it's gonna be changing, but that's the very first one we have. So I have the tier ranking over here on my computer and I have a playlist that has all of the songs in order just so I can scroll through, make sure I get everything in order. Maybe I'm not qualified to do this. I'm a non-committal Taylor Swift fan. I don't have tickets yet for this tour. I would like to go, but I didn't want to spend a million dollars to go. So I'll try. I think Taylor's playing three nights at Gillette, so probably could have somewhat of a chance of going. Not gonna pay a million bucks for it though, like I said. So let's get started. I have tier ranking right here, and the tier ranking is of all of her songs, so I'm gonna be scrolling through because I could not be bothered to make my own tier ranking, that would have taken way too long. So I'll just be scrolling through, it's okay. I just realized that I kind of have a shrine of like Taylor Swift's exes back here. If you can see, so like, maybe that's a little concerning, maybe that's a little telling about me, but um, let's just move on. Let's get started. The very first song on the set list was Miss Americana and the Heartbreak Prince, which I feel like was a very solid start. I really like that song. I'm going to put it, I feel like in the second tier. If this is not going to scroll with me, I'm going to, I'm going to throw things. I definitely should have arranged these before. Okay, I'm gonna put Miss Americana and the Heartbreak Prince into love. Next is Cruel Summer, which, okay, this is gonna be so hard. They're like all gonna be in love or favorite. I really, really like Cruel Summer. I think that's gonna go into love as well. Cruel Summer, going into love. Next is The Man. I, hot take, don't really like it that much. Probably gonna make people offended with this video. I apologize, but. I don't, I don't really like it. I'm gonna put in okay for now. Next is You Need to Calm Down, and I feel like people have similar feelings about You Need to Calm Down. It's definitely, definitely not my favorite. I'm gonna, I'm gonna put it in no. Next is Lover, and I probably have a hot take on this as well, so I don't really like Lover. I'm gonna put Lover in meh for now. By the way, I'm doing a speed round on this because I really, this video could go on for hours. Next is The Archer. All right, The Archer is in meh. Then we have Fearless, which, okay, being a 2000s kid, Fearless was like part of my childhood. So Fearless definitely has to go in the top somewhere. I think it'll sit in love for now. I think that's a solid choice. Then You Belong With Me, same thing. Like, I don't know, and Love Story. All of those just are so nostalgic for me. I feel like I like You Belong With Me better. I'm gonna put that into love. Love stories going into okay, because I do like it, but I do like a lot of these more. Moving on, Tis the Damn Season. I don't really like it that much. I'm gonna put it in meh. Willow, I love. Maybe, maybe that's a favorite. Willow is a really good song. Evermore is not my favorite album ever. Oh, I'm gonna put Marjorie probably in meh with Tis the Damn Season. It's really not. Not my thing, I don't know. Next is Champagne Problems, which I cannot imagine hearing this in concert. I feel like everyone would be bawling their eyes out. That's kind of like mean to play Champagne Problems and not expect us to cry, you know? That's gonna go in favorites for now. It might go down one later on. Next is Tolerate It, which again, sad. Not my absolute favorite, sad, but I'm gonna put in okay. I listen to it sometimes, but next is Ready For It, which I love Reputation for the most part. I feel like that was a really shocking one when it first came out, when, I don't know, everything just seemed so different from her past music. I think it's gonna go into okay for now. It's not my favorite from Reputation, it's still very good though. Then Delicate, I don't know, I feel like it's kind of a classic. I'm gonna put Delicate into Love. I think Don't Blame Me is gonna go up there too. Okay, Don't Blame Me is going into love. Next, Look What You Made Me Do. <laughs> okay, I am sick of the song. That's all I have to say. It's a fine song and it definitely was before it got overplayed for years. So uh, that's gonna go into no. Next, Enchanted. I'm really not a country fan. I mean, it's like poppy country, but it's a little too country for me, so. Next, 22, is such a good song. I think it's going into love. 
Next is We Are Never Ever Getting Back Together. I think I'm gonna put it into okay for now because I like it. Next is I Knew You Were Trouble. It's just such a bop, like such a classic I'm putting into love. All too well, 10 minute version. You already know where that's going. Going into favorites, obviously. Next is Invisible String. We're moving into Folklore. Okay, I think Invisible String is gonna go into okay. Then Betty is gonna go, I like it a little less. It's a little more like country, you know, with like the harmonica. I'm gonna put it into meh. Next is The Last Great American Dynasty. That's a good song. I just, I feel like I like more of her pop stuff better. I'm gonna put that into okay. I do like it, I listen to it sometimes, but I really have to be in like a folklore mood to listen to it. Usually when I'm listening to Taylor stuff, I want something a little more either upbeat or totally soul crushing, which I don't know, it's kind of in between. Next is August, which one of my absolute favorite Taylor Swift songs is, it is so good. Next is August, which I absolutely love. That is definitely going straight up to favorites. Just where is it? It just encompasses all of, like summer feelings and it's probably just the memories that I have like listening to it. Illicit Affairs. Hmm. Either okay or love. I'm kind of on the edge. I'm gonna put it into okay for now. We'll be conservative with this. I don't like My Tears Ricochet as much so I mean the only songs here that I really just don't like are the ones in No. The other ones are ones that I just like a little yeah, less. Would be less likely to listen to them on my own. Then we have Cardigan. I really love Cardigan. I don't know if I love it or if it's a favorite. Probably love. Now we're moving on. It's 1989 time, which some of you may know, 1989 is my favorite Taylor Swift album. And we started off with a bang, Style, which is my absolute number one favorite Taylor Swift song ever. I think it is just the perfect pop song. I know I've said this before, but I'll say it again. Style is a masterpiece. I will never, ever, ever get tired of it. Style is going all the way up to favorites so fast. Blank Space is a solid song. Probably gonna put it in love. Moving on, ugh, shake it off. You know where that's going. Overplayed, honestly annoying. When I say 1989 is the best album, it's with the exception of Shake It Off. Next we have Wildest Dreams. Where is that? I'm putting that into love. Then Bad Blood. I think it's going into love. Next is This Is Me Trying. I feel like it's gonna go in okay. Next, State of Grace. Here's the thing. I really like Red, the it's album, me. and Taylor did not play Red. There was a recording of Red played. It's just not enough. I think Red is probably like either my second or third favorite albums, like 1989, then like either Reputation or Red. That's kind of my Taylor Swift era that I identify with. And the fact that she didn't play Red is just like painful to me. So I think State of Grace is gonna go into okay. Now we're on to Midnights. We're starting off with Lavender Haze. That is my favorite song on Midnight, so that is just going straight up to favorites. Next we have Antihero. I don't know, I think I'm gonna put it in okay. It's a good song. It just uh, kind of annoys me sometimes, so. Next is Midnight Rain, which I honestly don't really like. I'm gonna put it into meh. Then we have Vigilante Shit, which I also don't really like. I might even put that one into no. I like it even less. Okay, Bejeweled. Bejeweled is fun. I'm gonna put that one into okay. Then we have Mastermind. I feel like Mastermind's also going into okay. And we have Karma. I'm gonna put Karma into love because honestly, from my initial like assessment of Midnight's, I was like, yes, Lavender Haze, yes, Karma. So that's kind of how it stayed to be honest. So that's my ranking. I might need to change some things around though. Let me look at it for a second. Okay, I might just keep it at this because if I, I'm gonna be changing this for forever, seriously. That was honestly really difficult. Let me know what your favorite songs are in the set list. Comment songs that you wanted Taylor to play that she didn't play because I have a couple of those. I really, really, really wanted to hear Getaway Car. I know that's not one of her like main popular songs, but I love Getaway Car. I wish she would have played, obviously I said Red, and Maroon also, I wish she would have played that. I really like that one. Gold Rush, I know, again, like these aren't as popular. Well, Red kind of is, isn't it? But these songs aren't as popular, but they're more of my favorites, so I was hoping she would have played those, but honestly, 
really really solid set list so there were only a few that she didn't need to play that I thought of which were the ones in the no so that was you need to calm down honestly just annoying song look what you made me do really really overplayed and same thing with shake it off just sick of it at this point I hope you enjoyed seeing my ranking and I will see you guys later bye